Yo, what is going on everybody? It is Tristan and today in this video what I've got going on for you guys is we are going to be discussing the three upcoming Kobe sneakers which are all set to release on April 13th. Now, this depends on the location you're looking at uh, because some places, you know, some retailers are going to be dropping these pairs a bit earlier, uh, like on, you know, the 11th. So it just really depends on what location you're looking at. But also, uh, when you go look on the sneakers app, at the moment at least, last time I checked, which was about a couple hours ago, uh, these have still not loaded up. So they've been hitting retailers. Retailers are starting to load them up. We're starting to see some raffles online, but uh, nothing from Nike themselves, which is crazy, by the way. But yeah, no, I'm looking. Still nothing from the 13th. And we do have actually a pair uh, of SBs which have loaded up for the 17th, the big money savings. I'll get into making sure uh, I drop a video on those. But yeah, it's just surprising, man. Like, uh, they have not even loaded any of these up, but they're already hitting their retailers. So I'm just, I'm kind of wondering, like, hey, Nike, you gonna load up these Kobe's for the 13th, or is it gonna be a little bit later on? Because you've loaded up some SBs, uh, which have not been hitting, you know, skate shops yet. So, you know, I have a few questions. But that's really everything I need to say. If y'all want to check my Instagrams, any of that down below, do not forget. Uh, you guys can go right here, go to my most recent reel on my Instagram, uh, and you guys can enter for a free pair of military blues. So if y'all want a chance to win, just go check that out. Don't miss. And uh, that's really everything I need to say other than, yeah, just stay tuned here. I'm always buying, selling, trading all my stories. So just check my story if you want to see what I got for sale, anything like that. I got a few military blues left. So uh, yeah, just let me know. But that's it. I hope y'all will enjoy. And why don't we get into it? So right off the bat, I'm going to say one thing. The most valuable pair at the moment, or at least the one that looks like it's going for the most, is actually the Italian camo colorway. Now, this is a little bit surprising to me because personally, I think something like the Phillies, you know, I think that one looks a little bit better. But here, let me like show you right now. So here are the Phillies. As you guys can see, we've got a price range of so right around $310 to $400 or $450 because once you get to some of those big sizes, uh, I mean, some of, some of the big sizes are really, really up there. It's like, if you're a 12, yeah, rip. But um, aside from that, yeah, again, let's look at the Italian camos. As you can see right here, I mean, all across the board, these are averaging for higher prices. But some of the bigger sizes are going for a little bit less, like a 12 in these or a 13 in these. You can find it for a little bit of a better price. But it just shows you there's some definite demand uh, for these colorways, even with the back door being pretty open. I've seen people with a pretty large amount of pairs. But compared to, you know, some other releases, people aren't getting full size runs of these. So understanding that, uh, I do feel like they will be a little bit harder to get but i'm gonna give you all some some of the locations you know where they will drop so aside from you know the obvious places like you know sneakers um there's going to be some other places which you guys should check because these may potentially be hitting some foot lockers i know the venice beach kobe which is this colorway right i want to make sure yep yeah, this colorway right here this one has actually hit you know some places uh some locations of, uh, I was gonna say Hibbit locations. I don't know why I was saying some locations of, but Hibbit locations. Make sure you guys have the Hibbit app and you check to see if the, your local Hibbit is running a raffle for this pair because that's obviously another chance to win them. There's a couple online, you know, raffles, which I'll mention in this video as well, uh, which you'll be able to find on the internet, like alltheright.com. Uh, also, what 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 was I gonna say? Uh, I think Sneaker Politics, yeah, they're doing a raffle for all three pairs as well. So, I mean, you guys can go look that up. As you can see here, I have it actually on this main page. So look, all the right is the one that's doing it a little bit earlier april 11th april 11th so make sure you guys are ready for these uh releases they're not going to be first come first serve i believe this is just going to be when they open up the raffle uh as you guys can see yeah so that's when they're going to be uh you can enter the draw right now and uh basically they're going to give you the results um on the 11th so make sure you guys do that i may i'll try and link these raffles down below so you all can see that but Aside from that, I'm going to get into some of the basic details about each sneaker. So all of these are going to be retailing uh, pretty much for the same price. I believe that is $190. I want to confirm that right now. $190 on the Venice Beach. I believe Philly's also $190. I want to make sure I'm right on that. Yep, $190. And uh, the Italian Camel is also 190. Yeah, so we got three Kobe's, all rumored for the same day, all retailing for the same price. Uh, and you know, it's also a few you know different models. You got some Kobe fours, you got some Kobe eights. Uh, I actually really like the Venice Beaches. I think this is one of the ones that will probably be uh, you know slept on the most out of all the colorways. I think. Uh, you could look into holding some of these long term, but I mean, these are mainly pairs, you know, I would say, you know, get for the core or whatever it is, because I don't feel like, uh, you know, there's going to be like super good long term demand on these. Obviously, if you wait, you know, until there's just like not a lot of new pairs left, you're going to make some good money on these. That's, you know, usually how it is with most sneakers. You can go look at, you know, some pairs from 2019, 2018, uh, 2020, some, some ones that really weren't in much demand then. And look what they go for now. I mean, yeah, you just got to give sneakers a few years. And obviously, when there's, you know, not a lot of people with brand new pairs, uh, you can kind of set the market yourself. And that's exactly what will happen with these because Nike is not producing a ton of these. I know, uh, you know, Vanessa Bryant uh, said 
uh, that Nike is going to be producing more Kobe's. Uh, and what people thought she meant when she said that is they're going to be producing more stock. But I just want to say she meant more pairs as in more variety of colorways, not more stock. So yes, it'll be more stock across the board because, you know, we're going to have more, you know, colorways, variety, you know, out. So people are going to, you know, kind of be able to pick and choose. Uh, but, you know, the pairs are still going to have around the same amount of stock that Kobe's have had for the last few years. And that's one of the main things I want people to understand. I think Phillies are a really good option, you know, just keep and hold on to because I think it's a really clean colorway. One thing I'm going to say, though, is I'm not going to go out the way to really pay resale on these unless I really want my personal size. I'm not going to be going out the way to pay resale to get pairs to hold because uh, you're going to have a lot of time on these. It's one of the main things I want to stress about all three of these. You're going to have a bit, you know, like they're not going to, you know, make, I think each one's going to have around 80,000 pairs. That's my personal prediction. Could they make more? Yes, I think that's totally possible. Hopefully Nike would understand, you know, how much demand they could have on these pairs. But uh, based off, you know, the amount of retailers are hitting, you know, I'm seeing a couple online raffles at the moment, you know, they started the load up. I don't think we're going to see massive stock, but I think we'll see a decent amount of pairs. Not as many as the reverse Grinches though because keep in mind this, this is three different pairs nike has to spread the stock out uh across so you know obviously there's going to be one colorway i'd say probably the venice beach would be the one that would most likely be produced more than the others but i could be wrong on that you know again we just kind of had to see this is where this next couple days will be important and kind of seeing which one's going to have the most stock none also one thing i want to say off the bat absolutely none of these are going to brick uh, I know there's going to be that one guy in the comment section somewhere, right? I'm not saying it's any, you know, any of you in particular, right? But there's always somebody that I hear saying, oh, man, these are going to brick. Uh, you know, I'm, I don't think I should go for these Kobe's. I don't know if it's safe. Brother, you know, it's like that me personally, I just want to know where have you been the last few months? Like, you know what I mean? Like, where have you been, mate? Like, are you you can't be living under a rock anymore, mate. It's, it's time it's time to come up out, out like under the rock. Kobe's sell very, very well, all right? They have been for quite a while. Uh, popular hoop shoe, and uh, these are all three classic colorways. All three of these colorways have been done before. All three of these colorways, their older versions, go for thousands of dollars. So, of course, you know, the new retro, kind of that, you know, remade version, it's not going to go for as much, but of course it's going to flip because there's people that, you know, want the old pair but can't afford it, so they're going to go get the new one because it's going to be cheaper. So, hopefully that, you know, makes sense. Uh, just to break it down to, you know, some folks that uh, might not understand why Kobe's are selling so well. It's because they're remaking a lot of the OG colorways that people couldn't get. And uh, yeah, they're going to they're get the new one. It makes sense. You know, it's, it's like what Nike's doing with uh, a lot of these um, Jordan 4s. They're like remaking old colorways and putting slight twists on them. And, you know, people think it's like a new colorway, but it's like, wait, hold up. I, I swear I've seen that before. You know, so uh, yeah, no complaints though. I'm I'm here for it. You know, I'm, I, I'm not complaining about any uh, of the Kobe's, you know, being remade, especially like the Phillies, any of those. Nah, that's, that's, I'm totally cool with that. So aside from that, here are the resale prices on the Venice beaches between a range of 350 to three, uh, to 400. Cause again, some of those big sizes. So Venice beach, 350, 400 Philly. We already discussed this 360 to 500 big sizes are really pushing there. And, uh, this one is also, you know, kind of a consistent range of around 400 to $600 big sizes going for more. I think each one will probably come down around 50 to $70, maybe even a hundred dollars over the next few days. Cause keep in mind there's going to be you know some Foot Locker locations I assume that will also get these so make sure you have Foot Locker app downloaded because there'll be maybe a couple retails that may get some of the Venice beaches because uh, again keep in mind those are the ones that we're hitting uh, some Hibbit locations so I feel like those ones will probably also uh, hit some uh, you know Foot Locker locations as well same with uh, the Italian camels I think these will probably hit a couple retailers as well but I can't say how many because you know we don't really know how many it'll like we'll end up getting this pair it just depends if they end up posting it or not and also the question at the end of the day always ends up being how many are going to backdoor them you know what i mean like there's just a lot of the time you know where the stock doesn't get posted to the public you know it just it goes through the back door because i mean there's a lot of money behind the shoe why wouldn't it you know what i mean it's like they expect that to happen almost so that's what i can mention about the you know italian camos the phillies and the venice beaches they're all three going to be great flips don't be concerned about any of these bricking no matter the size you will be fine understand that so go for any size and any of these and you will make a profit or go for your personal size. And I wish you uh, the best of luck in that case. Uh, oh, I don't know what I just clicked, but yeah, my size 10, what, what's it, what's it going for? 380. All right. That's not bad. Uh, obviously a lot cheaper than the OG version. So, I mean, I know a lot of people are kind of in my boat where they're like, Hey, you know, I will, I'll, I'll pay this price. Cause, um, you know, if I wanted to go get the, you know, 2012 or 2013 one, uh, 
it's gonna rub me back. So aside from that, that's everything I really need to say. Uh, do not forget all of the drop locations. We have a lot, APB store, social status, I'm on money, or again, sneaker politics loaded up, all the right, those are the two I showed you uh, right here. And they, they're they raffling all of them, both of these locations, they're raffling um, all of the pairs. So make sure you guys get ready, get entered, go to these websites. I mean, you can see the link uh, hopefully right there. So yeah, that's really everything I need to say for you guys. Do not miss out uh, and get ready to enter these draws because it's it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to cop these. Keep in mind, I don't think they're going to produce a ton, but I don't think it's going to be impossible. So just make sure you're in the loop, enter in a Hibbit, Foot Locker, all these online raffles as they get posted. Um, and yeah, just kind of, you know, I'll, don't forget rafflesneakers.com. Really good place to check uh, all the current and active raffles for shoes. So don't miss out on that. But that is it, guys. Do not forget, if you guys have any questions, if you're curious about anything, just, you know, check out my Instagram down below because uh, I can answer those questions for you. But you could also just drop them in the comments. I'll probably see them easier there. Uh, but my DMs are mainly if you want to buy, sell, trade anything with me. If you want to enter the Military Blue giveaway, make sure you guys go check out this video and do that so you don't miss out. Because, uh, yeah, don't miss out on your chance to win a free pair. That would, uh, that'd be crazy. Excuse my dogs. This happens sometimes. Don't worry about it. All right, there we go. That was uh, the end of the bark in there. So I'm going to end this screen recording. I don't really need to say too much more. You guys can subscribe and like. Just trying to tune your likes in this video too. That's a typical goal I set. So I'm going to end that. I'm T. Let me know what you guys are thinking um, about, about these releases. I don't know why I was forgetting that. Jeez. But yeah, that's it. I got to head to UPS. I'll catch you all in the next one coming soon. And leave your thoughts down below. Peace. <laughs>